In this module, we will be reviewing the post-scan steps, starting with inspecting the various families of vulnerabilities found within your scan results, as well as hints and tips and tricks to improve and optimize your scans. Once your previously launched scans have completed, simply click into them to view the scan results. If you've run this scan previously, there is a history tab from which you can select previous versions of the scan results to review and compare and contrast to the current scan. In the Notes tab, next to History, you will find a wealth of information for assistance. This is the first place to check if your scan did not run as expected or for error notifications. In this case, Tenable has alerted the user that the scanner has detected authentication but was not configured to use any and so did not attempt to log in. Authentication is very important for web applications as it could be hiding a number of URLs or a part of your attack surface you may not otherwise see. For those with vulnerability management experience, such as with Tenable, it's a similar situation to scanning with or without credentials. You should revisit the scan policy by selecting the icon at the top to edit the scan. Authentication will be covered in another module, so let's dig into a high-level overview of the vulnerabilities now by clicking into the Vulns by Plugin tab. Here, we can see a myriad of vulnerabilities, along with the associated families for each vuln, such as component-based vulnerabilities, SQL injections, and cross-site scripting. These results are from a full DAST scan. If you are running a config audit scan, you will mostly be uncovering vulnerabilities found in the response headers, such as the vulnerabilities found in the HTTP security header family that you can see down at the bottom here. Let's dive into an example now to show the full vulnerability information. On the overview page, we show tons of great information, such as the description, solution, and see also links to provide to security and development teams for remediation advice. As well, we also provide OWASP, CWE, and other reference information where applicable. However, before remediation can take place, you must identify the URLs or resources which are vulnerable, and the security team may also want the attack used for future mitigations if a fix cannot be issued quickly, such as writing a web app firewall rule. To view the vulnerability output, and the web pages which have been found to be vulnerable, select Instances up at the top. You will now see each individual vulnerability found, the input type and the input name. To see the request, simply click on the instance and then HTTP info up at the top. This will reveal the full request made to the application as well as the response to verify that the vulnerability is indeed present. We recommend that security teams send over this information to their developers for remediation. Instead of needing to copy and paste from here, however, you can also download the request and response as text files in the attachments section.